Hi there, and welcome back to the channel. Today we are making mosquito screens for the front doors of my very small camper van. They will attach with magnets and will also be held in place by the frame of the door when it's closed. As a bonus, I'll also show you how to make a little stuff sack for keeping them in. A while back I showed you all my various mosquito screens for the camper van, including these failed ones for the front windows. They had a lot of problems. I'd put curtain weights at the bottom that did not hold it in place the way I imagined, and these flat magnet strips were very weak and they didn't hold at all. It was touchy to put up and would sometimes fall down in the middle of the night, leaving us at the mercy of the bugs. So I'm starting over. Luckily, I have my window covers close at hand to use as a template. I'll need a bit of extra fabric, so I'll need a good margin when I'm cutting them out. Now we can head out to the van. Part of the problem with the first set of screens was that the magnets had to hold the screen up under the window edge. This time I'm going to shift the magnets to the top, the outer edge of the window. This line will mark where the netting will end where I want to put the bias binding tape that I'll use as the edging to hold the magnets. I'll also need to know where the lower edge of the window is. Some parts of the window have no metal edging, so I'm going to have to add some. The first step is to make a template of the plastic edging in the corner. I'm just using two bits of cardboard from some packaging that I've pushed under the plastic as far as it will go, and I've marked the edge with a pen. I tidied that up and I've made a pattern with enough room for the magnets to stick to. And next I'm going to cut it out of this thin galvanized metal. This little part here is going to be folded down to follow the shape of the door. I'm using these sheet metal vice grips, which are a huge help. They help to get a nice, even, smooth bend. Looks pretty fancy, doesn't it? It looks more complicated than it is. I just need to take a bit more off here so it doesn't stick out and catch on things. There's no metal anywhere along here either, so again, I'll have to add some. I had a good look at all the parts of the window edge to see where I could anchor the screen. I thought about tucking it down inside beside the glass, but it was a bit too tight and it might interfere with opening and closing the window. But I found a nice deep space between the rubber edging and the plastic of the door, which will do just fine. I knew I would have trouble bending a long, thin strip, so I'm just making these little tabs. I happen to have a can of this rubbery sealant hanging around, which gives a nice plasticky finish, but you could just use black spray paint or even leave them unpainted. They would work just fine. The paint is just for aesthetics. This is more of the no seam netting that I used for all the other screens in the van. I like it because it can keep out even the tiniest of little black flies. I've spread the netting out over my template on this side, the template seems to have a weird curved edge, but I decided to just cut it straight, so hopefully that won't be a mistake. I've made a mark to show where the door handle was, so I will end the screen just above that level. The next step is to open out the bias tape and sew it on all around the edge of the screen. Once I have marked all the magnet placements, I can fold the bias tape back over the edge of the netting and sew it down. I want to leave spots to be able to insert the magnets. So as I'm sewing, I'm just going to stop, jump ahead about half an inch, and then continue to sew the tape down. You probably can't see a thing of what I'm talking about with the black thread on the black fabric. So this is what's happening. The first line of sewing that I just did are these red lines with the gaps for inserting the magnets. Next, I'm going to start sewing a line down the other edge of the binding and form pockets for the magnets. When I get to the spot for the magnet, I'll turn and sew the first side of the pocket. 
Then I slip the magnet in and I push it further down the binding so it's not in the way of my presser foot for the next step. I turn it again and I sew the second side of the pocket. I stop, slip the magnet back into the pocket space, then sew the third side of the pocket shut. The magnet is now trapped in its pocket. Then I keep going all the way around, sewing in the magnets as I go. For the lower edge of the window, I'm going to make these little magnet pierogies. I decide to make them half circles, so I'll mark them out with the help of this big washer, and I'm going to leave a little bit of space between each one to leave a seam allowance. I'm lining them up along the selvage edge of the fabric, that way I don't need to worry about the edges fraying. Then I'll take this whole piece to the sewing machine and sew around each circle before cutting them apart. Now I'll turn them right side out. I don't really need it for this, but I like to use the end of a metal chopstick to help me get them smooth. I'm using half inch rare earth magnets. I put one in each pocket and next I need to sew the edges shut. They are very small and they have a big old magnet inside, which makes them extra hard to sew. On my machine, I can choose the needle position. So I'll move it all the way to the left to give me more room between the magnet and the presser foot. I'll start by doing a little back stitching to anchor the threads. Then I'm going to grab the tail of those threads and use them to put some tension on the pocket to help the feed dogs to move it along. And voila, magnets encased in a tiny pouch. I took them outside and I pinned them to the screen in the right positions. And I've brought the whole thing back in to sew them down. I have to be very careful because I can't pull on the screen fabric to help me sew it because it will tear the screen. And being so small, they don't want to feed. So I have to go very slowly and carefully. This time I'm using my zipper foot to let me sew closer to the magnets. Not too bad looking. They're kind of cute. Before installing the metal corner piece, I'm going to clean the plastic with some rubbing alcohol to get off any grease or dirt. I found in my test fittings that the magnets were strong enough to pull the metal piece out when I removed the screen. This is where I'm going to put the little tabs, between this rubber edging and the plastic of the door. It's just loose enough and there's about a one inch gap underneath. They lie perfectly flat so I should not feel them at all when I put my arm on the edge of the window. It probably doesn't matter, but since both screens are not perfectly symmetrical, I've marked each window with a colored dot of nail polish and sewn a matching dot onto each window screen. I have to lift the rubber seal a bit to fit the magnets underneath. They hold really well, but when the door is closed, the screen will be held by the door itself too. The tabs are not glued down and can slide out of place, but they're also really easy to slide back. I'm not sure if I need it yet, but I could add one more magnet here to be sure the screen is snug to the frame in this corner. The bottom edge lies flat on the plastic door to keep the bugs out, but it doesn't interfere with the door handle, which is good. The screens are quite delicate and fragile, so for storing them when not in use, I'm going to make a little bag. I'm using a bright blue fabric this time, so they'll be easy to find when I'm digging around in the console. I'm just doing this very roughly, but I don't want it to be too big either. I have a bunch of these locking cord stops, so I'll use one of them. I'm using a bead to stop the thingy from sliding off the end too. I fold it over the edge and ironed it to make a casing for the cord. To save myself the trouble of threading the cord through, I prefer to pin the cord in place and try to stay away from it when I sew. I'm folding over these edges here to make it nice and finished at the sides. Things are a bit weird where the casing meets the seam allowance, so I want to pin the seam allowance open as much as possible before sewing it. Now sew the bottom of the bag and up the sides.
I want to make a square bottom on the bag. So to do that, I'll need to know where this center line is. Then I fold the corner the other way to make a point like this. Making sure the chalk mark and the seam are lined up, I'll mark my sewing line. If you wanted to do this carefully, you could measure everything to have perfect lines, but I'm just going to eyeball it for this. Now I'll do the other side, trying to get them the same. So now we have a little bag with a nice square bottom. I left a bit of extra cord so I can cut that off now and I'll sew over the overlapped end a few times to close the loop. I find that cleaner looking and easier to thread into the casing than a great big knot. So now I have a nice little bag that will make it easy to keep the screen safe from harm. So that's one thing that I can cross off my list of improvements that I want to make to the van before this summer. I have a few more to go, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching, and safe and happy travels to you all.